More than just a royal residence, Versailles was designed to show off the glory of the French monarchy. Sun King, Louis XIV transformed his father's small hunting lodge into an opulent palace with a sumptuous Baroque interior. The palace became Louis XIV's symbol of absolute power and set the standard for princely courts in Europe. Architect Jules Hardou and Mansart created the elegant Baroque façade and lavish interior of the Château de Versailles, which is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The most emblematic space in the castle is the Hall of Mirrors, where courtiers waited for an audience with His Majesty. This dazzling hall sparkles with sunlight that enters through the windows and is reflected off massive ornamental mirrors. Versailles is equally renowned for Les Jardins, formal French gardens featuring decorative pools, perfectly trimmed shrubbery, and magnificent fountains. The gardens were created in the 17th century by renowned landscape designer André Le Notre and are surrounded by 800 hectares of lush parkland. Beyond the formal gardens is the Domaine de Trianon, which includes Le Grand Trianon Palace, Le Petit Trianon Château, and Le Hameau de la Reine, Marie Antoinette's fabricated pastoral village featuring quaint rustic buildings set around a lake. Marie Antoinette's hamlet originally had a working dairy and farm. This idyllic spot was designed as a place for Marie Antoinette to escape court life and spend time with her children. Marie Antoinette also came here for walks and to visit with friends. The hamlet is one of the best places to visit at the Chateau de Versailles to get a glimpse of the private world of Marie Antoinette.